What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another FC24 video. And today I'm going to show you guys how to effectively grind the upgrade packs for Fantasy FC, the 83 plus player pick, the 83 by 10, the um, 80 plus player pick. Um, and then also, that's going to, I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, craft some of these upgrade, some of these uh, icons, or sorry, icons, uh, foot heroes, like this Alex Scott. I, I, I barely finished uh, Team of Runner, so not that long ago. So, um, and that was just from the help of the 83 by 10s, the 83 plus player picks. The 81 plus player picks were probably were like probably my favorite and my best ever pick player picks. So I don't know why I just got blessed. My account got blessed, but I just got walkout after walkout after walkout. So that was really easy for me to craft. But let's get started. So the first things first, I actually have uh, two duplicates from yesterday's um, 83 by 10s that I opened up. I had two 83s. So this is where I I'm going to start off today. Um, I just I personally have 283 duplicates. Um, I think the best thing to do with your duplicates, don't throw any duplicate cards away, any gold. If you really want to craft and grind, you're going to have to save every card, right? You don't want to throw anything away. So for me personally, I'm going to start with the 83 by 10s. I'm assuming everybody watching this video has, you know, some gold cards in their club. And if you don't, don't, don't skip the video because I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be a little bit of something for everybody in this video, right? Whether or not you have a lot of packs, a lot of cards, a lot of coins, I'm going to have a little bit of everything for everybody watching the video. So first, we're going to build the 83 by 10s because I have the duplicates. Um, this is going to be a bit overkill, so I'm going to put two 82s in there. And then we're going to put our inform as well inside the an 83 inform. Um, we'll just put him in there. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to throw him in there. We got our team of the week. We can take this down by just a player. We could have put another 82 in there, but for right now, I think that's going to be okay. I'm going to submit that squad, so that should be some of my duplicates. Actually, honestly, I might have some extra. Du I might have to do another player pick. But let me go open that pack real quick and see if I turned in all the duplicates or not. But yeah, that's what you guys want to do. Craft the 83 by 10, open that up, and I'm gonna show you guys here. Hold on, let me make sure I actually use the duplicates. I did not use the duplicates, so let me go back and make another one and make sure I use Brozovic and Christensen. Because uh, if I don't, I'm gonna be very upset that I didn't get to do that. So um, not on that yet. We're gonna go 83 by 10 again. And let's just do the gold real quick. I should have enough, right? Yeah. If not, I'll use some 84s. That's that's fine. I don't mind using an 84s. I'm going to have to use some 84s, actually. So this is going to be kind of bad. Um, I can use two 82s. And then an 84. And then this should be enough. I believe. And we need the team of the week, of course. Which I do have a fair bit amount a fair bit of them i only have 10 actually i'm kind of running low um dc Banya's card i kind of want to keep this card just because he has 89 pace base which is crazy and he's brazilian he gets that link to neymar but it's fine um that's gonna be that's that's gonna be okay so i can actually lower this a little bit boom and i could probably put a few 82s in there but just to speed this up let's just turn this squad in so now we've built two 83 by 10s and that's just from stuff we had in the club from rivals from, you know, I'm assuming you're not playing this. You're not playing day one today. I'm assuming you've already played some games, done some squad battles and some objective packs, that kind of thing. Right. So I got my two 83 duplicates back and then we have, what is this pack from? I actually don't know. Where's Red Electrum's from? Is this from a certain, what, what pack is this from? What did I do? The 83 10 gives you two 83 10s. Oh, I think this is for this is uh for completing um Timo Werner. That's why I got this pack. So that's just like a little small pack I got. Oh, and I got an 85. That was really solid actually. And some golds in there. Okay, so we're gonna open up the 8310s real quick. And if you don't have any golds to put in the 8310s, I'm gonna show you guys how to craft those as well. Stay tuned. Go oh my gosh, Ederson, hopefully. Yes, Ederson, 89. That is huge for what we want to do for the grind, right? That is super huge. So an 88. We're going to keep for right now, 83 Ericsson. We're going to go back into the SBCs. We're going to craft another 83 by 10 because now we have a duplicate 83 card. So this is what I'm trying to say. If you guys don't, no, no, no man left behind here. So Christian Ericsson, I want to make sure to use him. And just the gold cards that we got. So we have a bunch of 83s that we packed. So I need Ericsson. If you guys didn't know, you guys only had to turn in nine 83s and then two 82s. Um, if you run out of 83s, you can put an 84 and then two more, 80, you know, an extra 82 in there if you don't have it. 
like me, for example, but also the team of the week I have is going to be like an 84 rated team of the week. Openda. I think I'm using Openda too for some type of, yeah, the cup. That's fine. I don't mind. That's fine. We keep moving. So there's our third 8310. So you're only able to do three 8310s in a day, which is kind of sad. They don't let you repeat it infinitely, which just sucks. So we get the 83 by 10 done. And then what's my other pack? I don't I keep thinking, I keep forgetting to have two different packs. What is this other pack? I have, oh, my two 8310s. Well, dumb, stupid. All right, so we're going to open this second 83 by 10. And we get a German right back. Okay. Wait, isn't that the Fantasy FC card? Yeah, I was about to say, what? It's so confusing how they walk out. Okay, so now we have... Oh, she's tradable. So I'm going to keep her in my transfer list. Always put your transfer list. In my opinion, I like to sell anything tradable. That's just me. So we have a third... Oh, we get a blue. Here we go. Italian, right wing. It's going to be... Um, I can't think of his name. Yeah, Politano. It's not a double walkout, though. But we get an 87. He's already duplicate for me, and I'm pretty sure he's untradable. Wow, we get a we get a ton of untradable or sorry, untradable duplicates. Um okay. Okay, okay. So now we now we're now we're in the thick of it, right? So what I'm gonna personally do is I'm gonna turn Okay, so, so you could do you could do a few things. Um don't mind my dog in the background. She's barking at you know someone in the front door, but it's fine. So an eighty seven, you this is like the harder part, right? If you don't, if you have an 8310 still left and you have a duplicate 80, uh, inform, turn that into the 83 by 10. That's the easy solution. If you don't have one, I would suggest either putting that into like a SBC, like you know, for example, Timo Werner, um, that that German dude that just came out, the player SBC. So if you want to build any player SBCs with these duplicates, try to turn those in. Me personally, this Boletano 87 rated. I don't really want to do any SBCs. I just did Timo Werner. I don't really have enough to do like an 88 rated squad, like a high rated squad. So I could do an 85 rated team for Alex Scott. I could build, you know, one of these teams for Alex Scott. But me personally, I'm not really interested in, in getting her um, just because I have a pretty good fullbacks. So you can craft, um, you know, this for rich card. He looks really, he actually looks really good. Five star skill moves. I think Stuttgart are actually really good. He'll get the plus three, plus four, 92 rated card with technical plus finesse shot. I think this card looks actually really, really good. And really fun. I might actually do this. I'm not sure. Let's see what he takes. 84 and 85. And I have a duplicate bullet down on 87. I think I'll do that. I'll do this. This card looks fun to me. I might do a player review on him as well. So for me, content wise, I think it makes sense to do this card. This is an 84, I believe. So we're going to throw in 84s in the, into this. I'm going to build this. Again, if you guys don't want to do the uh, player SPC, then I would just use the that 87 and turn it into the exchange. Um, that's what I would do personally. So we have that bullet down to turn in, and he's a right wing. So let's go 87 down to 87. Where is he at? Bullet down. That should be enough, right? 84, yeah. We need a team of the week, though. Gold team of the week. And we have 85. So we can make this even lower. So don't pay. Don't go too overkill on these, right? Like, if you really can save the cards, save the cards. Don't be like me when I was overpaying a little bit for those other ones. So with an 87 and an 85 in there, we should be able to drop a good amount. Save some 83s, 84s for some up other upgrade packs along the way. Okay, so we'll keep him. That's fine. I don't mind that. So we're going to use that Politano. And we're going to use... Oh, you know what I should use? So I can use two duplicates. Is the other inform I packed. I forgot I packed another inform. Um, where is he at? What's his name? I've packed this guy like four, four or five times this week. It's kind of annoying, but... There it is. We get the 84 rated squad done for Furich or Furich or Furich or Furich. Don't, um, don't uh, ban me for cussing uh, YouTube. But now we're back. We get the duplicates. 84 and 83 still to turn in, which we will we'll, we will do something with that right now. And 84 Dale Hernandez, 83 Christian Eriksen. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Okay. Um, we could do the 83 plus player pick or the 83 team of the week. So, so to have an 84 and an 83, I could technically do the team of the week player pick, um, just to make sure I get, you know, something, something done with that card. Right. Or I could do, um, I think these are not the hardest, right? An 84 and 86 rated squad, no informs. If you're, if you're looking to do one of these gamble SBC, the casino SBCs, you could turn them into those, um, you could even use them for the fantasy FC upgrade. Like if you really have nothing else to do and you have a duplicate 84 and you don't know where to turn them in because you can't turn them into exchange, 
use that gold rare as the 84 for this, right? And I think that's probably what I'm going to do because I, I need to get 150 of these done in 10 days, which is going to be insane to do. So let me put in Theo Hernandez in here, or sorry, uh, Lucas Hernandez, yes. And Christian Eriksen, right? Or how many golds do I need? How many rares? It's only one rare, so I'm only going to put one rare in. And then we're going to go to uh, gold. Oops, oops, oops. Gold common, low to high. Boom, boom. Throw these all in there. Right? Just like that. Nice and easy. I know it's going to be kind of a long video because I'm still not done. But the thing is, being effective, you don't want to throw anything away. Because if you throw something away, you're already wasting, you know, an extra card that you could be using for some type of SBC. So that's what I'm going to do for that one. Um, and I'm also going to do Christian Eriksen in here and then do the rest, just gold, non-rare golds. And then we're going to get on our way here. So let's do this as well. Non-rare golds, low to high, and put them in. There we go. So that's how, what we're going to do for our duplicates. Again, I'm going to keep repeating myself so you guys can think there's no, this is not the only option to do with an duplicate 84 or 83 rated golds. Um, you can definitely turn them into an 83 by 10 if you have that still available. You could turn them into a player SBC if that's what you're looking for, or just simply, you know, do this or anything, any player picks that needs a rare gold, throw them in there. But I'm personally going to put them in this fantasy crafting upgrade because I want to get this done as well. I have 10 days. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do that if I don't buy the cards. So that's going to kind of be uh, kind of, that's going to kind of suck. So now let's claim our duplicates and let me show you guys again how to get these gold cards to then do the player picks. For those people that are low on gold cards, that are low on, you know, just fought club fodder in general. Um, I do recommend, as well as as well as you're going to do the menus, you're also going to have to remember to do, you know, your daily your rivals, rewards, your rivals objectives, just objectives in generals. Um, do some squad battles, do some, you know, of course, champs every weekend. Um, staying on top of the, the daily upgrade stuff, because that's really important. Spanish and nothing okay i don't think i've ever gotten anything good from a 77 by 3 and i've opened like a ton of these because these were out before and some other promo and we get jekyll right there i'm assuming yep and an 83 duplicate so now we're going to turn this duplicate into something else as well we're going to turn them into uh let's turn them into the up the 81 no I, I don't think you should in my opinion i don't think this is worth it the 81 double i don't know why i just don't think it's worth it I feel like my better, I pick, you're better off doing the player pick or the, uh, either one of these player picks are better, in my opinion, again. I'm actually going to craft one of these, so I'm going to use the rare gold as that Jimenez or Domingo, what's his name? I can't remember his name. The gold card, that was a center mid though. Or was he a CDM? Is he only, oh there it is, Rodriguez, that's what he was. So I'm going to use him as my gold rare. I'm going to go to here and just put the rest non-rare golds. Um, low to high, there we go. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, low to high, high to low, it doesn't matter. So that's our rare gold and that we're going to use for that. Turn this in, we get ourselves an 80 plus rated pick. Like I said, guys, make sure any duplicates, you, you make sure you use them to, for something. Don't let it go to waste, we get an 81, it's fine. It's a rare card, we can turn in for another part of the grind. So this is where it's going to be. I, I mean, everybody mentions it, you're going to have to do this, right? You have to. The daily bronze to the daily silver to the daily gold. That's it. That's what you're gonna want to do every single day. Um, I know it's kind of boring, um, and it's like a little bit of a hassle. It's, but it really doesn't take that long. You just kind of you just have to do it. I'm gonna sit here right here. I'm gonna sit right here with you guys doing it. It's not the hardest thing to do. Um, one tip I could say is to hold square if you're on PlayStation or hold X on uh, Xbox, like right here for example. You squad builder. And then just right here, you're going to hold square or X on your controller. And then it resets it to low to high. So low. Oh, wait, we don't. We want a silver player. So let me clear that real quick. Go back, show you guys. You guys probably already know this, but hold square or X, click it. Now you go to so quality and go up to silver. So now it's going to put silver low to high. The only thing that sucks is it does keep the position. So it's going to be your lowest to highest goalkeeper instead of, you know, there's a 66 Cole Palmer that could have gone in there. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks. It's like it doesn't. It still keeps the position. It doesn't just put any card. So hopefully in the f you know future years of FC, they can get that fixed and let that happen uh, normally. So another silver. I know it kind of sucks to do, guys, but you guys are gonna have to do it. It's the best thing to do. 
It's just free, easy golds, right? It's just a bunch of gold cards you get for free. You get 44 golds a day. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do the same thing. Low to high, silver. Make sure you keep the silver cards you want for like Evos or your, your fa club favorite team. Like for me, I'm keeping him because he's Barca. Um, in the past, I have said, you know, don't put in any uh, rare golds because I recommend putting rare golds into icons, you know, because if they, they do take full rare golds um, team. So, yeah. So let's open up all these bronzes and silvers. And I'm actually going to skip this part of the video. I'll cut this out just because I don't want this to be in the video. It's just boring me opening silver and bronze packs. All right, so open all those bronze and silver packs and then let's build these uh, daily golds. So we're going to do the squad builder again for bronze. Hold square or X on the, on whatever console. Select bronze. And then go ahead and start that. You actually don't even have to select bronze. You can just do low to high. And it would put in like those Colma Bowl and Libertadores cards in there. So we're going to do that. I'm not going to open the bronze and silver. I'll wait till the end. We're going to do the same thing with the silvers. And just auto fill this. I know, again, like I said, guys, it's going to be kind of a long video. Because I'm going to show you guys the whole process, right? Like um, as much uncut as I can give. And show you guys is what I'm going to give you guys because I know a lot of people like to see in very brief detail. They don't want to see any skips. They want to see everything. How did you open this? How did you get this card? You know, what do I do if I get this card? Duplicate. So I'm going to show this all like, you know, raw footage to you guys. I know I did cut, cut out like the bronze and silver packs, but I just, I literally just opened them and stored them to the club. So that's what you guys do. If you guys didn't know, um, if you guys get a duplicate silver or um, bronze, turn those duplicates into like the regular silver upgrades or something like that. Just so you can still keep recuperating the, the cards. So we get 11 rare golds here. We're going to keep that. We, like I said, you get 44 of these. Oh my gosh, let me get an 86 in Kunku, which is a big help again. Because we're going to end up turning in uh, Ederson, Pop, and, Gu and, Kunku, and Kunku, I think is how you actually say the name. And we have three walkouts to turn into the player exchange, which, which is uh, one of the things I was going to say as well for the tip. Um, to grind these uh, packs out, especially the player picks. I think the player picks are so good. For me, I don't know why, but I've had insane luck on the player picks. I've packed Grealish, Majri, a bunch of informs, a bunch of walkouts. Like it, I've just had so much crazy luck from those player picks, especially the 81 plus. I haven't had the best luck on the 83 plus. Well, actually, no, I did. I had two walkouts, um, three walkouts actually. So I, I got actually pretty good uh, luck on those. So again, the silver bronze. We're gonna just keep redoing this. I know it's gonna be. I know it's just boring, tedious, but I'm telling you guys, it's definitely worth it. If you guys want to get some of these at Fantasy FC cards, you guys want to get these upgrade packs, these walkouts to do these player SPCs. It's just the it's just the best thing to do, and you're gonna get really fast at this, right? Once you do it once, once two, once or twice, uh, times through, it's just gonna be. You're not even gonna have to listen, watch this video. You're just gonna do it on your own every single promo, because every single promo has been about the same grind, right? The daily bronze silver thing. Then you turn in, you know, your you know your non rare golds into player picks. Those rare golds into the 83 by tens, the 83 by tens to filter back into 83 by tens, and then if you get some walkouts now with the exchange that they've recently added in, easier, even easier, right? You get the especially in 89 or I think it's 80 or 89, I think it's 89. You get 51 golds back, which is crazy. That's like five player pick player picks you could do. It's just crazy how much you can do that. So we're gonna open up all these bronze and silvers. Um, and then we're going to pretty much the gold cards we get from the, from these, from these, uh, the 11 gold players packs, we're going to put into the 80 into, sorry, the 83 plus, we're going to build three, all three of those 83 plus player picks. And then from whatever we get from 93 by 10, hopefully we get some high rated walkouts because we could turn those into the exchange and just repeat the process, repeat the process. It's going to be so crazy easy to do. Um, at one point you're probably going to run out once you start getting like low rated golds and you can't turn them into the exchange. Um, so then that's when, that's when the other stuff comes in, the gameplay related stuff, the, the fantasy FC cup, do that. The rivals rewards, do that. The objectives, do that. Squad battles, champs, again, just do everything you can gameplay and menu related. And you're just going to get unlimited cards right now. If you have coins, like I do like 800, something thousand, 900,000 coins. Me personally, I don't want to put any coins into this promo. Um, just because I'm waiting for like, you know, something more fun. I don't know. I like this promo. Don't get me wrong. I think this is a really nice promo. It pushed the power curve. And some of the cards are really fun that I've been have, able to use. But I think I just want to keep my coins. I love coins, um, even though I don't use them for anything. I am going to actually, actually invest in Fantasy FC cards, um, which I might make a video. I'm not too sure about that. Just because I'm not, I don't really consider myself a trader at all. I don't consider myself like the best, you know, trade stock, trade investor and all that stuff. But um, anyways, I might do that. I'm not, I'm not too sure yet.
So let's go to the store, open up all these bronze, silvers, and gold um, packs real quick. Oh, we only have one silver pack to open. And then these 11, we're going to get 33, so we're going to get 44 in total again. So with the, if you have tradables, just keep them in the, in the silver into the uh, trade pile. If you have duplicates, again, turn them into the 80, or sorry, the, 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 the silver upgrades and stuff like that. Just so you can keep on keeping the fodder, right? You don't want to waste anything. So these, don't expect anything crazy from these uh, packs. I got an 86 in Kung, in Kung Goo, so that's kind of uh, crazy, actually. Again, that's always the you know the better the best thing to get is just these crazy walkouts. Belgium could it be De Bruyne, oh Merdens, okay. And then we have one more to open up of these, and we're gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to do, or what to do next after you pack all these uh these 44 golds, right? So next we're gonna go into the um, objectives again. Where is it at? Sorry, objectives SVCs. What I meant to say. Go to the upgrade packs. And then go to the 83 plus player pick. So favorite that, favorite the 80 plus player pick, and then favorite the those two for sure. And then you want to favorite the exchanges, right? Or you could just you don't have to really favorite that because it's its own tab. Um, so we're gonna build three 83 plus player picks. You need a you need 22 golds and three rares. So from the daily gold upgrade, you get 44. And you get four rares. So you can do this two times, right? You can do this two times. Um, you, yeah, you need six, I guess, in total rares. And you only get four a day. But who doesn't have two of the rare goals? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like at this point in the game, you have to have way more than just like literally only silver cards. So let's go ahead and do um, use gold. Exactly gold. Okay, so I'm going to do low to high. Press square. Go to gold. It's going to fill out the, the club low to high. Don't just submit it. Make sure you only submit two rare golds. Don't, you know, go overkill. And then, boom, turn that in. And double check that you didn't turn in anybody from your starting lineup or anything like that. Anybody crazy, because I've done that before. Um, so, yeah, we get that one done. We get a bronze pack back. That's going to help out for just turning into the bronze upgrade that we get. That's not bad, whatever. So, we're going to do the same thing again on this one. Low to high, gold. And we're going to make sure we only turn in one rare. Um, don't turn in two. Make sure you check. I only have one rare right there. And yeah, I'm going to turn this I'm gonna turn this in. Again, I apologize for my dog in the background. And that's fine. We're going to turn that in. Okay, we get the 83 plus pick, which I'll open right away. That's fine. I, don't, I, don't, I was going to save all three of them, but I'll just wait. I'll just open it. One of four, 83 plus. Uh, I don't even know what I got. An 85 inform, beautiful, right? Save this. Now, when you have an 85 inform, in my opinion, I would not turn the inform into the into the exchange. Save the inform for the 83 plus 83 by 10, or save the 85 inform for a player SPC. That's that decision is up to you. That's not. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what to do, but I think you should do one of those two options. Just for the, whatever you do, don't turn it into the exchange. I think that's just not worth it at all. Unless you have like 500 or like 50, 60 informs, I wouldn't do that. So we're gonna go again and do this one more time, right? So we could do the 83 plus player pick three times a day. So my thing, I think you should aim to do the 83 by 10 every day and the 83 plus every day. I think that's just the best way to do it, um, me in my opinion. So we're gonna go down, hold square, low to high again. My dog is barking again. She's going crazy. Um, make sure you only turn in one gold. You don't want to turn in two. And then we only turn in one, right? So that's one. That one's done. And then we're going to head back. I'll open those bronze packs later. So this one has two golds. Low to high, hit gold. And this one we have to make sure we only submit two. Don't submit three. Make sure you check. I have two only in, in, in this team. Yes, I do only have two. Boom, done. So now we have our second 83 plus player pick. Um, and let's hopefully get a special card. 80, 40, ooh, this was a bad one, guys. Hopefully, you guys, isn't that bad. We get an 84, um, but that's fine. We're going to build and yet another one of these. Gold, low to high, boom. You guys get the gist, right? Just back and forth, grinding, like opening, doing the same thing. Make sure you only turn in two rares. So that's three right there. Um, make sure you only turn in two. Boom. And we're done. Of course, you can just, instead of doing the daily golds, if you have a lot of coins and you want to just do it with coins, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Um, just, you know, 
That's if that's what you want to do. I just personally don't want to spend coins on the on this like type of uh, objectives just because I play the game quite often, so I get a lot of packs. So we only want to, only want to turn in one gold rare. I'm telling you, if you do the gold rare, the daily up gold for the gold card is going to be so much easier for you. And then we have another rare gold right there. So only one rare gold to turn in. Boom, that one's done. So now we have our third 83 plus player pick. And hopefully we get something good out of this one as well. And an 88. Perfect, guys. This is just perfect. Again, my dog is barking. I'm, I, I'm, uh, it's, it's, it's honestly getting annoying. She barks every single night just from nothing. It's like a cat walks by. She barks. Okay. So we have all these bronze packs. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to go back to the SBCs here, right? And now we want to go to the exchanges. And you want to go to, who did I just get? Kototo, I think that's who I got. And you get uh, 27 rare gold, or sorry, 27 golds. So we got Kototo, right? I'm going to do this right here for you guys. An 88 overall exchange, Kototo. You turn this card in, you get 27 golds back. And then I don't, I'm not, I don't know exactly how many are rare. I forgot. I have the, I think it tells you on there. How many does it say? So eight of them are rare. So rare gold, there's eight. The reason why you want to turn them into the exchange and not like a player's PC is one, I don't really care about doing any player's PCs right now. I've already just done Timo Werner. I think I'm kind of... I mean, I could have done the, the, the that one German dude, right, that I just did one squad for. I could do that other squad, but I'm telling you, if you guys just want to grind packs and get these Fantasy FC cards, this is the best option to do, right? So we get 27 gold, or so 27 golds, eight of them are rare. You're going to open this pack. You're not even expecting... If you get a huge walkout... Cool, right? That's a lot of that's fun. That's really good. Oh my god, we get Renard, right? Is that Renard? Yes. Yes, we get an 88 Renard. So that, that's actually insane. We got an 88 that we turned in. And then we get another 88 plus 26 more gold cards. That is perfect. That's like, like the perfect scenario. Yeah, see, like this is this is oh my god, this works out perfectly, guys. Like I don't even know how much to explain. How much <laughs> emphasis I have to put on that. Like, that's just perfect. So rare gold will turn in. 83 uh, Ericsson will turn in. So if you have a duplicate like that, 80, uh, 83 Ericsson, you want to go to your player pick. And then a rare gold. that You, you need one rare gold. We're going to turn in the Ericsson. So you guys kind of get the gist, right? Anywhere you can put a card, just turn them in. It's not the, it's not the hardest thing in the world. You just got to stay on top of it. You got to grind. Listen to some music. Um, you know, watch some videos. Watch some of my videos. You know, like if you like the content. If you like, you know, my uh, informational videos here on helping you guys get packs this isn't really like a coin making for sure it's not you're not gonna make millions off doing this but it's just like a cool little you know experiment to just grind packs and try to get some of these top tier cards right top tier players in the game so we get ericsson back we get an 83 plus player pick or sorry 80 plus player pick. we get an 84 rated card not bad right an 84 card you could put into a team of the week upgrade or you could put them into an 84 rated squad for alex scott or an 84 rated squad for one of these player SPCs. Like I said, if you guys want to grind these out, go ahead and do that. I'm definitely going to do this card and do a player review on him very soon. So if you if you want to see that player review, you know, again, subscribe. I'm going to be doing that. This Terrier card looks kind of interesting, right? Four star, four star, good. Decent play styles, but not the greatest. Anyways, we're not talking about play styles and stuff and cards today. So we're just going to do this. So we're going to go back to the exchange again. Go to 88 overall because we have uh, Renard again who we packed. So we're going to go here. And then go to Golds. And then Renard, who we just got. Submit. 27 rare, twenty-seven gold, gold cards. Sorry, I can't even speak. I'm speaking too fast. 27 gold cards, 8 of them being rare. And then, like I said, you just pretty much want to rinse and repeat the whole process. Every day, make sure you do your bronze, silver, golds. Um, and then your duplicates, you turn into some type of S player pick. Some SBC. Dutch, center back. Oh, my God. Liverpool. Oh, no. It's Botman. 83 rated. Or 84, what is he now? 83. So this is like a, this pack is a pr pretty much like your very common pack, right? This is what you're, sh you should be expecting every time. You shouldn't be expecting to walk out, um, but you should be expecting this kind of card. Yeah, like look at these low rate of gold cards, which is fine, right? Um, You know what? I'll actually keep Chris Smalling because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to actually uh, use these cards. So then like this, for example, you have these four cards, right? All all uh, untradeable, let's just say, for example, let's just act like Aki is untradeable as well. So what you do with these with these rare golds, or sorry, just golds in general, whatever. So 
If you have the ADC Plus still available, the player pick option, just turn in the two gold squads, right? And you can turn in the rares and you can turn in the non-rares. Boom, you're done. If you've already done the ADC Plus player pick and you don't know where to put these non-rares, put them either, either into one of two things, the AD Plus player pick or the Fantasy FC upgrade. Um, that's just on you, what you guys want to do. Do you rather have the player pick or would you rather get the the um, Fantasy FC upgrading objective complete because there's a ton of other packs in there? Me personally, I'm going to do the upgrade because I want to get uh, as far as I can into that because I've only done like three out of 150. So that's what I'm personally going to do. So I'm going to go over to upgrades, the Fantasy FC crafting upgrade, favorite that. So you can kind of just grind back and forth, right? That's pretty much what you're going to do. Um, just... I'm telling you guys, it, it, you get in, you put in what you, what you, or sorry, what do you, what's, what's it called? You get, you get out what you put in, or you put in what you get out. Wait, you get out what you put in, or you get what you put in. You know what? I don't know. I don't know how the saying goes, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So we're going to go here to low to high gold. Make sure we only turn in one rare gold. And there's no rares in there. That's fine. Boom. Boom. Um, but what I would do is actually turn in the card you you have as a duplicate, and I don't remember. I know Ake was one of them, so I'll turn it. I'll turn in Ake. Um, but yeah, you guys get the gist, right? You guys get it. This video is long enough. I don't want to make it even longer. Um, I hopefully you guys took something out of this. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys got inspired. That we're like, you know what? Fantasy FC sucks. Um, I don't know what to do. Like this is boring. If you hate gameplay, then just do some just do some menu grinding. Do some exchange packs. If you have coins, buy some 88s and 89s. Turn them into exchanges. Grind player picks all day. And just, you know, build up your team. And look at the cool team you have built. And be like, you know what? Oh my god, I can't wait to play foot champs with my cool team. And you're like, wait, gameplay sucks. I don't care about playing. This is for you guys, right? Just grind this out. It's going to be a lot of... Uh, I'm telling you guys, man. Just do some homework if you're, in, if you're in school still. Or, you know... I don't even know why I just said that because I haven't had school in so long. But... You know, you're back from work. You want to just listen to music, watch some videos, chill out, eat, you know, grind this out. It's super easy. I think it's like just an easy grind to do. Um, if you really want to be the most effective, like I said, don't throw away any cards. Do your daily bronze, silver, golds. Um, any duplicate you got, turn them into a player pick or the fantasy crafting upgrade. Make sure you do your daily upgrades every single day, which what I mean by that is the 83 by 10. You have three of those a day. The 83 plus player pick, you have three of those a day. Make sure you do those every single day. Make sure you you duplicate 88s and 89s. Turn them into exchanges. If you want to do players VCs, turn those into players VCs. And then just, it's a whole cycle. Grind the whole thing. And I'm telling you guys, it's going to be so much easier to just don't throw these duplicates away. Make sure you do them something with them every single time. But for now, guys, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave without like, liking the video. And please don't forget to leave it without subscribing because we're on the road to 200 subscribers, which I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, man, let's keep going, keep grinding, get better clubs, be better teams. Stop using Mbappe because you're trash, all right? Use fun cards, man. Use Timo Werner. Use you Just have fun with the game. Stop using, just stop using Mbappe, please. I hate facing against him. He's so annoying. But don't get me wrong. If I had Mbappe, I would actually use him too. So, But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.